And welcome back to Resident Evil Village. Now that we've uh, made our way back to Duke, let's let's poke around the rest of the <coughs> castle. What a man thing! <laughs> Sorry, I have literally been thinking about that "what a mansion" joke for a week. <laughs> I I literally thought of it when we stopped the last recording session, and I was like. Is that in this video? Nope. Fuck. I guess I'll just hold on to that horrible joke. <laughs> I had no idea you could pick that cup up. Yep, just uh... Someone's been using it recently. This the fuck the fi! The other mug is fine! <laughs> fuck you guys. It never ends. <laughs> Never ever. I had no idea you could pick that up. I love you, dude. I love you. It's been 30 seconds. Ah. Oh. Hell yeah. You get fucked up eyes. I think we're get we we have to get one in this video too. Do we? How come? What's for what purpose? Is this like some kind of mansion where we have to solve stupid arcane puzzles that make no sense in the real world? You saw one. Yep. Oh. Saw one. You got one. Yeah, give me that spindle. Oh, this is a Resident Evil game. Yep. Oh, okay. You're. Yep. Okay, I see. There's doors with weird adornments on them. Holes. Holes in random places. There's the vase breaking noise that's in all video games. This is familiar to me now. It's all coming back. Yeah, Although, yeah, this castle is the most Resident Evil, uh, or, you know, classic Resident Evil we'll, we'll see in this game, I think, actually. <laughs> oh, okay, but I, okay, I knew RE4 HD was gonna be different, but, like, wait, hang on. There's a lot of wine bottles to shoot. Which one do we solve the puzzle with this time? Hmm. Don't shoot the wrong one, it'll drop the cage with the blind guy on you. Oh, no. Or it'll drop Maiden's blood on you, like some carry shit. Kept in a special ornate bottle. Okay, we'll just have to keep an eye out for that. Man, those grapes look moldy. The, I mean, I would say that blood and wine has recently become a little bit more bloody and whiny. They mix together after a while. You don't really need the grapes anymore. Do vampires eat grapes? I assumed they could. I didn't think there was anything like in vampire lore that would prevent them from doing so. <laughs> well, it's just that based on that mug, I was I've I'm kind of wondering if they eat at all. If they give a fuck about eating. Maybe they can, but they just choose not to. Yeah, maybe. Next time we see one, we'll have to ask her about it. Get it? Cuz we got to not Never mind, I'll keep an eye out for her. Aw oh man, I hate opening the door to a plague of locusts. I wish it were the first time that this has happened. I played Bioshock. <laughs> I said I played Bioshock. You don't need to demonstrate. I haven't cut open a man in a while. Let me string you up. Slice your... Joe, taking a live, dead, which would you prefer? She seems to want to, um, <clears throat> she seems to be on us like, uh, like flies on, uh... I can't hold back any longer. Well, flies on something that smells pretty rotten right about now. <sighs> flies on so the that idea, gumbo. Yes. So we can't really do anything right now, so we, we basically just gotta run. Is it because she's made of flies? Is that why we can't harm her? Yes. Conveniently, there's a little, uh, trap, trap hole here we can just jump down. I do like that, I do like that the flies don't pursue you into the basement. Purely for sport. It's very Jack Baker. <laughs> this, this note is honestly obligatory. This is the most Resident Evil note in the whole game, in my opinion. The classic, like, read this note to find out how horrible things were before you got here. 
Yeah, it's 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 no itchy tasty, but it is it, it has similar energy. So they RE RE8 got some criticism that I don't feel is particularly deserved for its on rails nature. Like seven, it is a linear game, and some people see it more as like a fun house of scares. But I feel there's a lot of choice along the way, right? that makes these linear set pieces feel different for every player. When I played the game, I turned around and I crawled right the fuck back out of the hole. <laughs> Is kind of my point. Everybody reacts yeah. to these things differently. Doesn't really matter if, to quote Max Payne 2, it's a linear sequence of scares. It's a fine linear sequence of scares because everybody experiences those scares differently. Yeah, like meanwhile, uh, I don't know if it, how if you guys could tell, but I was trying to like I was holding forward the entire time, just trying to see if I could like crawl out while she was still there. Nope, they slow you down. They slow you down because they want you to see what she had in her hand there. Hmm. She uh, seems like mom's gonna go get slashed. Post on Facebook about her uh, MLM scheme. <laughs> oh, yes, my daughters. The family jewelry is made out of real diamonds from Africa. The Iraqis paid handsomely for these jewels. I will send them all to the forbidden land of Canada. <laughs> God, oh, after RE6, never trust a snowy place ever again. To uh, further your point about people experiencing things differently, uh, I used my face for that puzzle instead of bullets. As did I, homie, <laughs> as did I. <laughs> yeah, the first time I did it, I I, I used my knife. And what? then I... You can examine that and st why, Ethan? Have you learned nothing from the bra in RE7? It's like <laughs> Zoe's trailer all over again. <laughs> my favorite way, my favorite way that I've seen someone solve that is they thought the fire would hurt them, so they backed into it. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have any pistol ammo. Um, man, there was some writing on the wall that I actually did not notice until just now. I kind of wish I. I knew what it said. Wow, rip. Ah, oh, well. Don't worry, I can kind of guess that it said something similar to it really sucks here and I would rather be dead than here. Yeah, I could believe that. <laughs> <laughs> what if it didn't? What if it was just like, Lucas was here? <laughs> 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 Fucking Lucas. How did you get all the way up to Romania? Village elder smells. Lucas was here. <laughs> I set the fire at Louise's house. <laughs> Holy crap, Lois. Congrats on getting selected. You know, it really would be just like Lucas to take credit for something he didn't do. Man. Yeah, it would. And the list of things he didn't do just keeps getting longer and longer now that we found out that this zombie research stuff was just like... Like, he didn't even know the half of this shit when he was like, I'm gonna steal the research and I'm gonna give it to the connections. Uh, what if the connections could see all this nonsense, Lucas? You think they would still <laughs> be interested in your offer? Yes, Lucas, we will buy all those nematodes from you. What was that? I was gonna. I I think that I think I have that like blue bowl in my cupboard downstairs. <laughs> I. You may want to put it through the dishwasher. Yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> you just give that a good scrubbing. <laughs> ah! Oh, oh, is that pants? Is yes. that a hole to eternity? Maybe? That kind of looked like the void. Why did you stare into it? You know those things stare <laughs> back, right? <laughs> Look, and as long you... as it's not a Mimikyu, it's fine. And then he tried I to try stab to steal it. My soul. 
You, you can't just antagonize the void. I'm actually, I'm actually pro antagonizing the void. I don't see any problem with it. Haven't you ever wanted to stab the void though? See, I played Bloodborne and I recently learned, right, also from real life experience that stabbing the void actually makes you feel better emotionally. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you've got a void in your life, go emotionally stab it. Maybe not physically. It's a, little, yeah, it's a little dangerous. I was about to say, I, I tend to do more yelling into the void rather than stabbing into the void. Yeah, I post on Twitter, too. <laughs> it's... Do you hear ominous groaning? No. I kind of do. Like, I have a sinus infection. I, I mean, I did just eat some chili earlier, so... I don't know. <laughs> yeah, 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 sorry, that was also me, like, I was just clearing my throat there. Uh, anyway, you're being attacked by a whole lot of Dark Souls enemies. Yeah, yeah, these are basically just hollows. I love these goddamn things. These, these enemies are so, like, normal. They're just, I don't, like, I don't know how to describe why I like them. They're just so, they shamble like zombies, but they're alive. And they're... They don't attack you. They just shamble at you, and their weapons do huge sparks when they hit anything. It doesn't really seem like they're trying to kill you. They're just trying to give you hugs. Yeah, they feel kind of quaint in a way. They really do. Yeah. In, a, in a world where everything explodes into gore and tentacles, they're just like normal shambling zombie people. And you can't blow up their heads or, like, blow off their legs or anything like that. They're just, like, I don't know. They're weirdly non-standard. I don't appreciate them crawling out of the wall like rats, though. Yeah, because you gotta wonder how many hundreds are in there. Like, just behind the bricks waiting. I think I fucked up this guy's eye. You did! I- hey. <laughs> ma hey, man. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you. Add one to the counter. <laughs> Ooh, a pipe bomb. <laughs> oh my god. I, I thought we got out of the south. <laughs> you can't just you can't just quote Potter puppet pals like that. <laughs> you almost killed me, dude. <laughs> It's a pipe bomb! Yay! Edit that in. I'm gonna I'm gonna link you to it and edit that in. <laughs> You're gonna have to remind me. <laughs> That's cool. I'm gonna remember because Potter Puppet Pals is a very significant part of my life. I'm sure somebody will find the reference funny. And it has been it has been so long since I have thought about Potter Puppet Pals. Yeah, I've been- I've been super into that early internet era recently. Really, I've kind of been on a nostalgia trip when it comes to internet culture and video game culture in general. Interesting necklace. Honestly, that's kind of, I think, why I like these enemies so much is because they're retro. Like, they- they react so well to being shot everywhere and all of that, but their attacks are very simple and all you have to do to avoid them is just not let them get close. But they made that surprisingly hard. They are they are it's, a retro enemy. It's, it's the way they move, like they're just so erratic. Yeah, they're wiggly. And you know what it is? They move, they remind me of the dancer of the Boreal Valley from Dark Souls 3, specifically in terms of how, how it was designed in that they kind of like, they kind of move on the opposite beat of a person's footsteps. They move almost like ballerinas in a way where they, like here, watch this one. Like, like see how, like look at that. See how they kind of like, they shamble in mid step. Like the footstep is very solid and then in mid step they move really fast. They just never sit still. You get some, you get some damn concerta for these people. <laughs> this area is pretty. I like the, hmm. I like the looks of this area. We mentioned, mentioned last time the use of mega, mega textures. 
the they basically blocked out all the this area and then painted over it. This whole thing is like, in a in a literal sense a work of art. <laughs> hmm. All right, here's Ingrid's necklace. Looks familiar. Mm. In that every villager we've met so far has had one. I suppose that must have been a villager then. That's kind of unfortunate. That's that's kind of unfortunate cuz cuz see that list was pretty goddamn long. That list of abductees. Yeah. yeah. I can't believe Cassandra caused ah. all this mess. You know what? Let's ask oh, her how long no. this has Here been going go on. A healthy man's blood. Mm. I can't wait. A culture of flies can live for many, many years if it has food to eat. Which tools do you prefer? Maybe I shouldn't call her that. Do you think she'd be offended by that? <laughs> like, she's trying to dissect us. Should I try to dissect her psyche? Hmm. Where are you going, little one? <laughs> Bullets cannot harm. <laughs> you stupid man thing. <laughs> Uh, uh, what? My body! It's breaking! How dare you bear your teeth at us! Give up! This can't be! I'll slice your throat and- I guess we'll never know. Nope. The moment they start, uh, calcifying like that, they're- they're done. Well, I mean, this ain't- this ain't bedroom. I ain't hungry anymore. And a pointless to recommend a third course. <laughs> those, um, oh, those are gorgeous. I would love to have mm -hmm. that in my house to terrify visitors. <laughs> uh, well, now that you, now that you, we've dealt with her, let's go downstairs and uh, just poke around the last bit of catacombs. Well, maybe we shouldn't gloss over the fact that we did just murder a major antagonist. We did just kill one of Dimitrescu's daughters. Yeah, she like kind of. Oh, I guess, I guess she, there's nothing else to look at. Okay. Well, she she does only have two of those left now. I imagine she's probably mm -hmm. going to be a little upset. Nice lantern over there. Hey, it's that wine. Okay. Well, this is going to be extra bad now. We've taken her solace as well as her daughter. <laughs> now she can't even soothe her woes. What's she gonna watch Netflix next to now? Gonna curl up with this big ass bottle and Neapolitan ice cream and wish her daughter was still alive. Speaking of her daughter, I I can't remember which one it is. I think it was the one we just killed, but uh, one of them is voiced by Nicole Thompson, who you know she she was. Uh, Elena? Uh, in, like, a previous video? Uh-huh. And also Jill in Resident Evil 3 Remake? Uh-huh. I, I think it was the one we just killed. I can never keep the daughter straight. Nor can I! That's, that's gonna be the hardest part of this let's play, is the, when <laughs> the Duke gets us to the third floor of the, of the Brookhaven Hospital and we have to take the quiz on which one is which or we get poison gassed. <laughs> oh, no! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll never escape the other world, Ethan. <laughs> okay, so we got an upgrade for the Lemmy. It's uh, it's real, it's real silly that this is just sitting here. This is very unceremonious. Man, I'm so mad you can't combine them like that. I'm, I'm I with you. 
If only I remember, I remember being able to drop the stock on the red nine that way. Yep. <laughs> Some, something I've realized recently, because I was playing RE4 like two nights ago, uh, inventory management is a lot simpler in this game compared to RE4, even though they have the same, you know, attache case system, because like attachments just fold into the gun you've attached them to. Yeah, the guns don't like, get bigger. The guns don't get bigger. Those two little those two little notches in the side are your only indication that you've modified them. Yeah, like if I had a sniper rifle and I attached a scope to it, in this game what? I would just have the sniper rifle in the end. What is this? The evil within? Wait. <laughs> Wait, I think I made that same joke about that same wooden statue in the last LP. Hmm. Hmm. I like that we got that after killing her first daughter, though. Because, you know, <laughs> we did turn that young lady into an angel, or the torso of an angel. I absolutely love the sheer amount of wine bottles in here. Just look at how there's not even any food. Those moldy grapes have to be there on purpose because grapes make wine. There's like, other than that horrible carnivore meat feast in the other room, there's no food. It's just wine <laughs> and wine material. And I, I love it because wine and wine accessories. <laughs> Well, cause yeah. what, what the f what, if you were an immortal vampire, right, and you lived in this place, and you were using the people here f for your weird, horrible nightmare experiments, what what would you eat? It's not like they're farming; you're killing them. <laughs> but if you don't need to eat, you may as well just get sloshed every night. Why the hell not? <laughs> Welcome, welcome. You're sure to find something new. Well then, feel free to peruse. It bothers me so much that he says that when there aren't new things to buy sometimes. <laughs> He's usually right, but not always. <laughs> yeah. Oof. Oof. Oh no. Please do take a look at my new So, stuff. uh, I didn't figure out for a long time you could sell things en masse like that. <laughs> and, uh... Well, there's a perk to not doing that. If you sell things one at a time, you can actually hear all of the Duke's like unique lines for the more important treasures. Oh. Like, I, I think he has something unique to say about the uh, the, the torso. He does. He's... I don't... So does he have stuff to say about the, the daughter torsos? I didn't actually realize. Um, I don't know if he has something to say about each daughter individually, but he does have something to say about each type of treasure, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so instead of that kind of like, ooh, thank you very much, I, I've already forgotten what he just said, but he he usually is a lot more interested in, like, the the, the bigger treasures, I guess you'd say. Yeah. Yeah, he, he usually has something good to say about, like, the big stuff. If you happen to find a treasure that is an entire Venus de Milo instead of like a quarter of one, <laughs> then he'll have like a whole paragraph to say about it. Mm hmm. Shall I give you the tour? Uh, no, I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I I have a feeling she will fly you away to your um tourist destination soon, whether you like it or not. <laughs> I don't know why I ran that way. Hi. Never mind. She took the nearest flight to you, actually. Yes. Yes. She's not much of a tour guide. This is not the best vacation Ethan Winters has ever been on. Just poor tour guide service here, really. I, I don't know if I would say that, though. I don't know if I would say that because she did offer. They are actually trying their hardest here. It's just that Ethan doesn't want to be shown the tour, and they're very insistent. Like, lethally insistent. Oh! Ooh. Oh! Ooh, nothing yes! wrong with uh, Ethan's eyesight today. <laughs> he did it. Oh, my God. Look at the no fucked up eyes on that KSR gate. <laughs> It was the first time I played this game, like, I just could not figure out, like, what I was missing to collect everything in the courtyard. 
Now I understand. Fucking bird cages. This, this, it's okay because this courtyard is even more annoyingly infamous. There is, for some stupid reason, an achievement for shooting out every single window in the courtyard. And what? the whole castle. Wait, that, that, I never had a problem with that. I broke every window from the inside. I did not know that was an achievement. That shows how often I look at achievement lists, honestly. That's okay. <laughs> I didn't even try it because it sounds like a giant waste of time. But I'm glad that you bit the bullet and did it to show us that actually it's pretty cool to have an achievement to know that it was easier than some asshole on the internet said it was. <laughs> <laughs> I love you just bailing on Dimitrescu there. You're like, fuck that. She's going to bed. Let her doze off to sleep. Yeah, I'm just going to go run around the courtyard a little bit, give her a bit of a head start. I love her and her Rip Van Winkle candle there. I wish she had like a, I wish she had like a 10 foot long giant nightcap. <laughs> I do like the design of this place because it is appropriately completely miserable. This place sucks ass, dude. Like, <laughs> it, if it were not covered in snow, it would still be a horrible medieval torture castle. Like, in the last yeah. LP, in the last LP, we questioned why the Baker family farm was, like, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre house, if it is supposed to be the real world. Well, we don't need to wonder that about this place. It always sucked this much, even <laughs> when there weren't vampires. I don't know if I like Dimitrescu's taste in music. What have you done to my daughter? Uh oh, she found out. So she is quickly entering the stages of grief. We need to not catch her when she's in the anger one. We need to we need to catch her in the despair one so that we can kick her while she's down. Oof. No, don't wait for the acceptance one because she's got two daughters left. Then we have to start over. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, after the bakers, I am not taking chances with any of these freaks. I will kill all her daughters, and then her, and then sell her corpse to the duke. If we can pick it up, she may turn into, like, rocks. That's what happened to Evelyn. <laughs> listen, this is true. Listen, before you start having sympathy for any of these weirdos, remember Evelyn, who turned into a giant face. She did turn into a big face. That is, in fact, what happened. Well, but wait a minute. Wait, hang on. I'll play devil's advocate to myself here. Evelyn did die screaming about he sh how she only wanted to have a family. So, that's, uh... Maybe I'm being a little harsh. Oh, you dingus! Now his pants oh. are all wet! <laughs> Women are blind to male advances, but the poor shall take their chances to give their lord their bounty sown, so that soon the wine may flow. Am I right, R slash MRA? <laughs> those bitches always look away from those bitches. Am I right, bros? <laughs> okay, gotta point the uh, these beggars over at the uh, the guy on the horse there. And then you gotta point the two ladies towards each other. And I think that's the solution. I also would beg for a ride on a horse. They're pretty cool. Yep, just uh, give me a sec to go confirm that, I guess. <laughs> I love it. I love Ethan Winters doing the math in his head, taking another dip just to get nice and cool. Hey, it's that statue from earlier. Oh, got, yeah. got both eyes this time and present. Wait, hey, wait a minute. The statue with one eye is presenting the wine to that lady with the giant hat who has that goblet. Wow, you kept. Oh, okay, never mind. Oh, uh, uh, hmm. Uh, Argate, what if that was like a giant Looney Tunes hole? What if that was a giant cartoon Looney Tunes hole and you fell going yahaha hooey until Ethan made a little Ethan shaped shadow at the bottom? <laughs> <laughs>